of love understands our pain and shares it with us. Amen. Jesus is condemned by Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. For a while, it looked as though Pilate might save Jesus. He sent signals that he would, but ultimately we see what Jesus already knew. There is no salvation on earth. That adoring crowd from a week ago now shouts, Crucify him. His friends abandon him. Worldly power in the person of Pontius Pilate will choose the crowd over what is right. Lord Jesus, the pandemic has taught us the entire lesson you already knew. The world may be beautiful and exciting, but it is fallen and dangerous too. May we learn from you that there is only one who does not disappoint, the ground of being God himself. Lord, Lord we, we know that, that whatever, whatever comes, the future, future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The second station. Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. Jesus submitted entirely to the will of the Father, and so when he was given a rough cross to carry to his own execution, he embraced it. In some depictions, he even kisses the cross. He knew that the cross meant suffering, torture, and death, but he trusted his Father and knew that God brings good from every evil even an evil as terrible as the cross. Lord Jesus, the pandemic cross is hard to accept. Who will get sick? Who will die? Who will lose their job? How will this reshape the future? The only way to accept it is to trust as you did, that the Father's care will never end. Please give us this trust. Lord, Lord, we, we know, know that, that whatever, whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen.
third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. Jesus fell under the weight of the cross, under the weight of our sins, and we are horrified to see it. We repent what we did that led to this. First, we repent the way we sinned with our pride and greed. We lived a complacent life filled with selfishness. We ran up debts to please ourselves and impress the world instead of saving for uncertain future. We put other gods in the center of our lives instead of the one God. Lord Jesus, you do not directly cause suffering, but you allow it because in your power and mercy, you can bring good out of it. Help us remember in this pandemic that we are not the center of the universe. You are. We repent of our pride and greed. May we put our time, effort, and resources where our heart truly is with you. Lord, we know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Fourth Station Jesus meets His Mother We adore You, Christ, and we praise You. Because by Your Holy Cross and Resurrection, You have redeemed the world. Here is Jesus face to face with His Mother. When he was a baby, she was told that the sword would pierce her heart. From the cross, he will make her our mother. In between, she has had to walk a rough road with her son. But as they gaze at each other, the love the two have is so deep and sweet. All of that is forgotten. Lord Jesus, if we did not know before, the pandemic reveals what your mother knew so well. This world is a valley of tears. Thank you for the gift of your mother. Thank you for your fidelity and the loving concern for us that she brings to you. Lord, we know whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore your Christ and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. A passerby, Simon of Cyrene, is compelled by the Romans to help Jesus carry his cross. He stands for corporal works of mercy, serving the physical needs of others, feeding the hungry, clothing the sick, 
giving drink to the thirsty, sheltering the homeless, burying the dead, and above all right now, visiting prisoners and shut-ins, and visiting the sick. Lord Jesus, give us a heart that cares and loves even in times of fear and sorrow. Show us opportunities where we can concretely help those who are suffering from the pandemic. Sometimes, like Simon, we have little choice but to help. Sometimes we must seek out those who need our assistance. Send us out an army of Simons to, light, to lighten the burdens around us. Lord, Lord we, we know, know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus we adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. Ignoring the complaints of the Roman guards, Veronica reaches out to comfort Jesus, using her veil to wipe his face and receiving his image there in return. She stands for the spiritual works of mercy, instructing the ignorant, admonishing sinners, forgiving offenses, counseling the doubtful, bearing wrongs patiently, and above all right now, comforting the afflicted and praying for the living and the dead. Lord Jesus, when we reach out to the suffering, our efforts restore your image in others and imprint your face on our lives. Give us the words we need to give faith to the shaken and hope to the hurting. Remind us always that even though we could not pray together physically as a church, we as domestic churches ought to pray for one another, especially those for the frontliners in this battle. It is in praying together that your image will continue to be imprinted in our hearts and bring victory over our fear and this pestilence. Lord, Lord we, we know that, that whatever comes, the, the future, future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day, day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Seventh Station Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. The weight of our sins forces Jesus to the ground again. This time, it is our sins of anger and envy that weigh him down. Like the crowd that was tantalized when scandalized by Jesus, we have allowed ourselves to become petty and superficial, feeding off the anger of the like-minded and rejecting the humanity of those with whom we disagree. We have walled ourselves off into holes of mirror, reflecting our own image where your truth can no longer penetrate. Lord Jesus, it took a pandemic for us to see that we are all your creatures, struggling to find our way in the world. We repent of our habits of anger and envy. Teach us to see the dignity of everyone we meet and to listen and respond to their lives with your love. Lord, we, we know, know that whatever, whatever comes, comes the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Jerusalem. We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection you have redeemed the world. Jesus faces the crowd of women who are weeping in sadness for his plight. But he says, Do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and your children. The ultimate tragedy of Jesus' suffering is not the pain he endures, but the many people who will refuse to accept the offer of salvation that is the reason of his pain. Lord Jesus, help us see in this pandemic not just the tragedy of human suffering, but the tragedy of human souls. Help us to weep not just for the difficulties the world faces, but for the sins the world commits. We offer you the only consolation you want, our lives offered back to you. Meet us in our pains and fears, and direct our lives once more to you. Lord, we know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Ninth Station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you you have have redeemed redeemed the world. One last time, even as the end is in sight, Jesus falls once again into the dirt. This time, he is knocked down by our sins of sloth and lust. He struggles up to Calvary for us, but we so often cannot be bothered to do even the minimum for Him. He calls us to greatness. We want only comfort. He offers His body to the Father. We pamper our bodies. We realized in horror that He died for the very people whose bodies we have treated as objects for our pleasure. Lord Jesus, in this pandemic, we repent of our sloth and lust. As those around us suffer sickness, economic hardship and death, give us the unity of heart to see the true worth of everyone we meet. Grant us grace to repent of our past sins and to honor and defend your image in others. Lord, Lord, we we know know that that whatever whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily daily bread and and forgive us us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You have redeemed the world. Jesus goes to the Father as he came into the world. He has no fine clothes, no mighty airs. He is stripped bare before God and man. With nothing to hide his scars and pain, showing the whole world that while, yes, Jesus Christ is fully God, he is also fully human. He is one of us. Lord Jesus, this pandemic has stripped us of our illusions. We were like the emperor with no clothes, putting on airs and ignoring our real predicament, imagining we were invincible. May we learn from you to see ourselves humbly and honestly stripped of preconceptions and to see that our true worth is that we are loved by you lord lord we know that whatever comes the future is safe in your hands our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. and we praise you because by your holy cross and resurrection you have redeemed the world here is the last torture of the mighty king he is pinned helpless to a cross the hands that created the universe clutch at the heads of nails the feet that walked on water is stream blood unto a wooden block lord jesus we are helpless to avoid the suffering that keeps coming pinned to the cross of circumstance while there are already vaccines for this virus there are still so many uncertainties about them also our inability to procure these vaccines due to poverty we lack resources to heal and protect ourselves we do not know where to go anymore, 
guide us to you, our only assurance and hope. We know when we are most helpless, we find you embracing us. Grant us cure, grant us medicine, and grant us your love. Lord, Lord we, we know, know that, that whatever comes, the, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. Amen. dies on the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because, because by your holy cross and resurrection you, you have redeemed the world and then it happens the unthinkable the last cries of anguish the commissioning of his spirit to God and then the mighty head that spoke such beautiful words fall silent and limp. The king has died. This is a greater fear than any we could have imagined, and it is suddenly too real. Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, is dead on the cross. Lord Jesus, none of us knows what we face in this pandemic. We fear the worst. We fear death, and for some of us, that fear will be realized. However, you have yourself suffered the thing that is our greatest fear, to reassure us that even if you call us there, we will find you waiting, filled with love. Embrace us in our fear. Strengthen us in our weakness. May your death be truly our salvation. Lord, Lord, we, we know, know that, that whatever, whatever comes, comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. The pain stops at last when Jesus Christ has given the full measure of love. He carried the burden. He has been pushed and prodded and driven to his death. There, at the end of the road, his body ends where it began, in the loving embrace of his mother. Lord Jesus, we have a long road ahead of us in this pandemic. We will walk it to the end with faith. And though we do not know what we will find, we will never give up, knowing that every road leads to you. Grant us the grace to be embraced by your mother, as you have entrusted us to her. May Mary, our mother, 
the star of the stormy sea, guide us safely to the shore of health and goodness. Lord, we know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. is buried. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross and resurrection, you have redeemed the world. In the end, Jesus is buried in a cave, and a rock is pushed across the mouth of the tomb. He is left to rot. So often, the world has done the same thing. Hidden Jesus away, sealed him off from polite society, and given up on his love. But our Lord will not decompose in the tomb. He will rise again and will make himself present in the sacraments of the church, baptism, confession, the Eucharist, confirmation, our marriages, holy orders, and the sacrament of the sick. He is there in the simple gestures of love, or care, and of solidarity. Lord Jesus, so often the world has counted you down and out. We hid you and took you for granted because we have so many things we want to achieve. However, you always rise again. In this time of pandemic, we pray for the physical cure our bodies need. But thank you with all our heart for the spiritual cure that you gave us on Easter. May your victorious love protect and strengthen those in the front lines of this battle against COVID-19. May our present suffering lead us to love you even more in your church. Lord, Lord we, we know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. At the conclusion of your way of the cross, we ask you, Lord, to teach us to keep watch, together with your mother and the women who stood by you on Calvary, in expectation of your resurrection. Lord Jesus, these are such difficult and painful times. We have walked your way of the cross with you, remembering your sacrifice. Now we ask that you walk our way of the cross with us, filling our lives with your love. We know that whatever comes, the future is safe in your hands. In the victory of the resurrection, you have given us hope and strength. Grant healing and speedy recovery for those who are sick, protection and strength for our frontliners, enlightenment for those who continue to study the efficacy of the vaccine and the safety and peace of your people. We ask these prayers with trust and humility. Amen. 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 In, the In the name of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, and of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen.